the production that I was able to get out of my garden this season and I was blown away as the seasons begin to change and the garden starts dying back it continues to give and I'm trying to teach the chicks who are growing into hens how to cohabitate with their new family and it's so interesting to watch I love the way nature has its own way of showing us what the vegetables we eat are good for. And beets are beautiful. They look like the heart and they are super red and they are excellent to lower blood pressure. And kale is a nutrient dense food source. It helps lower cholesterol and reduce heart disease. Um, I love making my green juices to help boost my immune system. And this one is super easy. I'll also add pineapple in here, some apple slices, and ginger. And if you really want to give it a nice, delicious flavor, you can add celery and also cucumber is really good in it as well. You just can't go wrong with a beautiful, a beautiful juice.
So I'm gonna go ahead and process the peppers too because I forgot about these. So these I've let, these are a little bit older. So I'm just gonna cut off. They're just a couple of more, about five days older. I've been waiting to pickle them. So I'm gonna pickle these whole, the ones that are just slightly wrinkled like that. And the ones that I just got out of the garden today will make rings out of those. All right, to make this pickled jalapenos, it's really simple. I'm using a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm using a half a teaspoon of cane sugar. You can leave the cane sugar out. Um, I just wanted to cut the really, really hot hot pepper a little bit and soften it up. And I'm putting a half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. Um, and I'm also going to add um, distilled water as well and i'm going to use um, vinegar in here to pickle the jalapenos and um, yeah and that's it i'm going to put a tablespoon of lemon juice in there as well okay so that's the recipe super simple and um, super quick and super easy and we're going to water bath can these and we'll be done so we're going to do these 45 minutes with the tomatoes and we'll be done 